A pilgrimage site for centuries, the Malda district in the northwest of Bengal holds many a secret. About 19 kilometers from the administrative center of English Bazaar or Ingrej Bazaar stand the ruins of the old capital city of Pandua. The city was also known as Hazrat Pandua. It was given the prefix Hazrat as several prominent Muslim saints such as Jalaluddin Tabrizi and Noor Qutb Alam made the city their home. Their tombs have made Pandua a prominent Muslim pilgrimage site. From the mid-14th century to the mid-15th century, Pandua served as the capital of Bengal under the Ilya Shahi dynasty between 1342 and 1487 CE. They built palaces, forts, bridges, mosques and mausoleums, many of which are now in ruins or have disappeared altogether. In the architecture of the Ilya Shahi dynasty, we find one of the first attempts at fusing together Islamic and Bengali styles. An early attempt at this can be seen in the colossal Adina Masjid, built in 1373 CE, which at the time was the largest mosque in the Indian subcontinent. The Ilyas Shahi line of succession was interrupted only once, for a short period, by the rise of the Hindu Raja Ganesha. Ganesha was succeeded by his son Jadu, who embraced Islam and became Jalaluddin. Under Jalaluddin emerged the Bengal style of mosques. One of the key features of this are the curved roofs, which were probably modelled on the thatched bamboo huts of the region. The best example of this was Jalaluddin's own tomb called the Ek Lucky Mausoleum, as it cost 1 lakh rupees to construct. On the western side of the mausoleum is the beautiful Qutb Shahi Masjid, named after Noor Qutb Alam. But the question that most visitors to Pandua ask is, where is the palace of this once grand capital? Unfortunately, it didn't survive, partly due to adverse climatic conditions, but more so because of human neglect, something that is evident across this haunting landscape.